Alright, so this is my video on if CHT nozzles really work. I have bought just a normal 0.6 Volcano nozzle, a 0.4 genuine Bontex CHT nozzle. There you go, you can see Bontex. Um, and then I also bought two knockoff CHT Volcano nozzles that are 0.6 millimeters off AliExpress, and I tested all of them out to see with different materials to see which one performs the best. All right, so before I actually start testing, I want to do a full disclaimer that I actually won't show testing for the knockoff CHT nozzle in this video. And that is because I saw zero difference between that and the normal nozzle with the same diameter. So knockoff CHT nozzles don't really work. And I actually never ended up using mine on the machine because it just caused more clogging. So why use it? All right, so for our first one, we have PLA. 240 Celsius and our max usable flow rate was 20 millimeters a second cubed. So you can so it starts dipping off about here so this is where I put our max flow rate. 20 millimeters a second cubed. You can see it failed right up here. Um, other than that it looks pretty normal consistent extrusion. Alright this is CHT at all the same settings. So you can see Again, the same usable like 100% flow rate at 20, but interestingly, if you look, this one failed while this one kept on going. So over time, it doesn't drop as like quickly with the flow rate, so you're still getting pretty high demanded flow. Um, so one thing we could do is bump up the temperatures and see if that increases our flow rate. All right, so this is PLA at 275, not CHT, and uh, there was no visible increase in flow uh, over 240, so there's no real reason to switch if you have a non-CHT nozzle. All right, so this is PLA at 275 with the CHT, and it actually had an increased flow rate of 25 millimeters a second cubed over 25, over, uh, 20 like the other, here's them next to each other. Uh, same thing with those able to stack taller, uh, though there's something interesting about this one. Alright, so what's interesting about this one is that if we go get light on it, go to the back, so open, look at that. It's got these weird bubbles um, in the extrusion, and I'm not really sure why that's happening. It uh, didn't happen with the uh, non-CHT. This filament is dried and I printed all the models in the same day within a couple hours of each other. So that's not uh, moisture or anything. So it's just a weird CHT artifact and this is on the genuine Bontech CHT. All right, so now that we covered uh, PLA, let's go and test ABS with the Bontech and normal nozzle and see what the uh, flow rate difference is. Alright, so this is my normal nozzle, it prints at 275, um, and we got a max flow rate of 35 millimeters cubed a second, and I did it on the front, not the back, because I wanted consistent flow. So, pretty normal, and it's higher than PLA, so if you're trying to print fast, ABS seems to be the way. Alright, here's the same one, except sliced for the CHT, and... Surprise, surprise, same usable flow rate. The same uh, drop and flow at 35, though the drop seems to be much less drastic on the CHT as it is on the normal. Uh, so the way I see it, there's no real advantage of using a CHT over a normal nozzle unless you're expecting under extrusion. But other than that, I don't really think CHTs are worth the money, especially for the 25 or 30 dollars that they want for these things. Full disclaimer that uh, this, you know, wasn't super scientific, but it was my testing for if CHTs work or not, and uh, I didn't find them helpful for volcano uh, hot ends. Uh, with normal nozzle hot ends, I found them extremely helpful with increasing my flow rate. I will put the uh, my old hot end right here. That the flow was drastically increased with that, uh, though I don't have testing. I just, that's why I used to use my old YouTube videos. 
All right, so this is my explanation or theory on why CHT works with normal sized nozzles, but not really Volcano. So as you can see in my heat view that I made, the filament benefits from having more surface area to heat evenly on, giving you uh, more like consistent heat through at higher flow rates and fully heating the filament. While with Volcano nozzles, that longer melt zone gives the filament an opportunity to melt all the way through even in a normal size nozzle so it doesn't benefit from the quicker heating of CHT. And because of a novel, uh, the filament's like specific heat capacity or how quickly it can absorb heat, um, it's limited by the distance or the length that it has to heat, not the like surface area anymore. Anyways, that's my theory. Thank you for watching and have a great day.